I hope you don't get caught. I won't. Growing up in the internet age has made sleuthing second nature to us 90s kids. Any information that we could possibly want is at our fingertips, on our feeds, or being chatted about amongst our circle of friends. One topic, however, has eluded the public eye for some time, the Olsen twins. Literally, this has been our life and this is, you know, natural to us. It would be difficult to reminisce about growing up in the 90s without mentioning perhaps our fave twin duo of all time, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. So officially have they made their place in history and our hearts that simply saying Mary Kate and Ashley without their famous last name, most people would know who you're talking about. So what makes them the picture of nostalgia? And why are they constantly on our minds? Today, we're going to take a journey down the Olsen twin maze to find out why Mary Kate and Ash have piqued our interest for all these years, why we don't see them all often, if at all, in the public spotlight, and where they are now in 2020, so we can finally put our worried minds to rest. Let's hope by the end of this investigation, we won't need to get the Free the Olsons hashtag trending. Dadums, don't be daft! <laughs> now, where's my little sis? Getting their start as taking turns playing Michelle Tanner on Full House, MK and Ash entered the entertainment industry at the very young age of nine months. Following the massive success of the series during the seven year streak, the twins ventured off into the movie world under their own production company, which developed 47 films in the early 2000s. In addition to their classic movies, It Takes Two, Passport to Paris, and New York Minute to name a few, they also starred in their own TV series, released music and magazines, and began building their fashion empire all in their pre-teens. In a 2013 interview, Ashley told WWD, we couldn't see over the top of the table. I always looked at myself, even as a kid, as a businesswoman. With Mary Kate adding, I don't think it ever felt like we were actresses because we spent so much of our time not in front of the cameras building a brand. I hope you guys enjoy the show and the collection. It's easy to see how simply their presence in their many public ventures made it almost difficult for us not to notice and be interested in the empire these twins were building in the 90s and early 2000s. Following the explosion of their career, however, the twins both fell very silent as they inched into their 20s. Aside from a handful of interviews throughout the 2010s, the question on everyone's mind shifted to what happened to the Olsen twins? I hope this year is one of the best ones yet. Unlike many of their celeb peers, the twins are not on any social media platforms. There are no tweets, posts, or status updates to keep their names buzzing in our ears. Most of the media surrounding MK and Ash come from rare paparazzi sightings or sparse interviews with the women that are primarily focused on their fashion brands. It's not a trend. It's not a trend-based brand. This definitely makes it difficult to keep tabs on what they're doing and what's going on in their life. In 2017, Ashley said, We don't dive into that world of social media. We don't have Instagram or Facebook, so we've never been connected to our customers or fans in that way. We've stayed quite sheltered. The only single occurrence where the sisters have been directly involved on social media is their infamous selfie in collaboration with Sephora as a takeover. The photo features the twins making their usual stoic face, wearing black sunglasses, and with the caption, first public selfie ever. This lack of social platform and interaction with fans is almost unheard of in our media-connected world. It also means that they are essentially void of public scrutiny, as they do not often share personal opinions or beliefs on topics in social media that might be criticized by the masses. In this way, the twins' legacy is almost pristine in our nostalgic minds. We remember them always as the innocent and sweet twin duo who had a lot of sass and personality. I'm sorry, is someone talking? Because I don't hear anyone. Married life has its own separate demands, with Mary Kate saying in 2017 that I have a husband, two stepkids, and a life. I have to go home and cook dinner. I ride horses on the weekends. She has to balance her fashion empire with her sister Ashley and try to lead a normal life with her husband, Olivier Sarkozy. Between all of those demands, it makes sense that Mary Kate leans on the quiet side of celebrity. While Ashley differs from her sister in the married realm of life, she's been spotted often throughout the years meeting with various business investors for their fashion company some of which had the world speculating romantic undertones. Ash's team confirmed though that they were purely professional, although Ashley does have a well-known past of sporadic dating with a handful of men. Same with her sister, Mary Kate. Since 2017, Ashley's been dating LA-based artist Louis Eisner. No news has come to the surface to reveal the seriousness of their relationship, but it seems to occupy much of Ashley's free time. How can I find you? Call her! 
The latest public sighting of the twins was in July 2020, following MK's seemingly messy divorce with Olivier Sarkozy. Lasting five years and involving stepchildren, the couple called it quits in May and resulted in Olivier kicking MK out of their living quarters in New York. In a rare sighting, Mary-Kate and Ashley were seen outside their Manhattan HQ for the row, with MK seemingly jumping back into work. Also, per sources, neither Mary-Kate or Sarkozy have released any official statement about their separation, but the paparazzi have been all over it with speculations and judgments. In explicit situations like these, the Olsen's decision to live an almost anonymous life in the public eye begins to make more sense. It becomes really dangerous, first of all, and um, yeah, everybody wants a good story. When the news broke that Netflix was developing a Full House spinoff, Fuller House, slated to stream in 2016, our minds instantly asked one question. Will all the cast be returning for this nostalgic reboot? Unfortunately, the Olsen twins were nowhere in sight during the show and were only mentioned a handful of times in a sort of passively joking manner. At these prices, no wonder they don't need to act anymore. Although the producers and showrunners all gave it their best attempt to bring the twins to set, MK and Ash declined several times, resulting in the crew back off. The only information we have is a personal account from one of the producers who relayed that Ashley had said that since she had not been in front of a camera since she was 17, she simply didn't feel comfortable being part of it, while Mary-Kate added that it just wasn't a good time for them. Aside from the joking remarks about a missing Michelle Tanner, the show did manage to excuse their absence from the show by saying Michelle was busy running a fashion label in NYC, a nod to the twins' reality and reason for absence. Well, Michelle sends her love, but she's busy in New York running her fashion empire. Following their back-to-back -back movie releases in the early 2000s, Mary-Kate and Ashley have not been active on the screen, only appearing in a handful of films over a 10-year span. Mary-Kate's latest solo acting gig was in 2011's Beastly, where she portrayed the villain. Ashley, on the other hand, appeared solo in Jared Leto's music video with 30 Seconds to Mars in 2013. Together, the twins were seen in the 2013 documentary series Scatter My Ashes at Bergdorf's, which is their last public appearance on film. I think Bergdorf's has been um, really supportive. In addition to Ashley not feeling comfortable being in front of the camera, the twins seem to directly oppose being the center of attention in general. It would appear that anything on camera or media related is off the table for the twins following their massively public 2000 stardom. In that 2017 interview, when asked about posing in their own brand of clothing for magazines, Mary-Kate answered with, we're used to being on the other side of the camera and managing the process, so it's hard for us to do photo shoots now. In speculating this response, there's definitely a been there, done that vibe that has had an impact on their level of comfort being in the public eye. Too much of a good thing could be the reason behind their very direct and intentioned decision to remove themselves from the spotlight. In an interview with LUK, Ashley confirmed her dislike for the screen, saying, I don't like to be the center of attention anymore. It doesn't mean I'm not interested in Hollywood. I like the way it operates. I like the people who are involved and the sense of possibility. But if I ever get back in, it's not going to be as an actress. It just took me a few wrong turns to see it. From what we know, most of the Olsen twins' time is spent perfecting and pushing the boundaries on their two fashion labels, luxury brand The Row and contemporary lifestyle brand Elizabeth and James. Acting as both the founders and designers for these two very different labels, it's easy to understand how these two can be so busy that they've eluded the public eye. What may seem like an odd segue from the film industry to fashion, upon further inspection it was actually a natural transition for the pair due to the amount of fittings and outfits that they were constantly put into. As Ashley said, we've been in so many fittings. We used to do two a week for 15 years. Mary-Kate added to the sentiment by confirming, saying, When we were younger, being in the public eye was almost part of our role and responsibility to set the trends at that time or be ahead of fashion. We would take adult clothing and cut it down to our size, change the proportions. Both MK and Ash are serious about the image of their brand and putting out a product that they can be proud of. The success of both their brands has resulted in them being awarded a handful of accolades in recent years, including Women's Wear Designers of the Year in 2012 and 2015, and Accessory Designers of the Year by the Council of Fashion Designers of America in both 2014 and 2018. Well, thank you. We were not expecting this.
While the lives of the Olsen twins is still very much a mystery, we're happy to confirm that they haven't vanished. No free the Olsons hashtag needed. The extreme stardom to hermit behavior that Mary Kate and Ashley have exhibited seem to be a result of public burnout, with their two diverse fashion brands receiving awards and the sisters seeming to speak passionately about their brand. We can sleep well knowing that they're doing okay, even if MK is in the middle of a divorce. So when the Olsen twins ask to give us some space and distance from their private lives, the only real way to answer is, you got it, dude. Can't wait to meet you soon. Bye. Bye.